One of the seemingly more out there concepts in Star Trek are the food replicators. One merely asks for a chicken sandwich and then it materializes out of thin air. Over the years, this has been one of the more contentious future technology concepts in that franchise and, along with warp drive, are generally seen as being fantasy. But even though this has never been explained as such in the canon of Trek, there actually is a hypothetical way that such a device could exist. But before we get to that, first a bit about how Trek's replicators worked in the canon. They were a variant of the transporter technology in that they took matter from somewhere else, presumably from some matter storage area on the ship or from space, and constructed the aforementioned chicken sandwich directly from its constituent atoms. In other words, it atomically assembled it while transporting it into existence. The Achilles heel to this idea though is how the transporters themselves worked. While an in-depth look into those is planned for a future episode, in a nutshell they converted the atoms of a person's body into energy, then sent that energy across space and then reassembled them at the destination. While there is a form of this kind of teleportation that is hypothesized within futurism, it has some serious problems, not the least of which is that you basically have to destroy someone in order to teleport them, and there's no guarantee that what ends up on the other side will be the same person. This is not so much of a problem for a chicken sandwich, though. The big problem here in regards to the replicators is the mind-boggling complexity of such a process and the energy required just to make a chicken sandwich. In short, it's overkill to try to make things this way. You're better off carrying a giant freezer full of sandwiches. But that doesn't mean that such a future technology can't exist to achieve the same result. Hypothetically speaking, there is another way outside of Trek canon. This is known as molecular nanotechnology. This potential future technology has not been well explored by science fiction writers, particularly on television, but holds remarkable potentials that if the engineering is right, which is a big if, could make all sorts of things possible, including replicators. Molecular nanotech is relatively straightforward. You shrink technology down to be as small as you can get it. We have been doing this steadily already. Computers used to take up entire buildings and early cell phones were huge compared to today. But as it turns out, there is still plenty of room left to continue to shrink our technology. So much so that it appears that we can get electronics down to atomic scales eventually. We've also shown that we can manipulate individual atoms to the point that we can arrange them and make them spell out words. If you can identify and arrange atoms with tiny machines, then you could, hypothetically, have your machines identify and choose what atoms they need to create the chicken sandwich and have it literally materialize from a cloud of nanobots. Voila, there's your replicator. Now hypothesizing and engineering something are two different things. We don't yet know how practical nanofactories are going to be or how difficult it will be to build them and get them to work. And it's hard to fathom the social implications of such a thing as it would move the means of production in a society to the individual rather than it lying under the purview of the state or industry. There would have to be limits on what they could do lest someone synthesize a virus that could wipe us all out or even make a nuclear bomb. But a chicken sandwich, well, that isn't asking for much. Thanks for listening. I am futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, currently hungry after all this talk about chicken. And be sure to check out my books at your favorite online book retailer and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for regular in-depth explorations into the world of futurism, science fiction, and the science behind it.